Welcome! You, your family, and your doctor have decided that surgery is the best option for you. This can be a very scary time if you don't know what to expect, so we're here to show you just what to look forward to. Before you have surgery, you and your parents will meet with a team of doctors to talk about what is going to happen. Sometimes the team uses big words to describe what they're going to do, so it's okay for you to ask questions about what they're saying. The doctors will give you an examination, during which they may need to take a look into your nose and mouth, as well as listen to your heart and lungs. Your doctors are meeting with you to make you feel better, so you don't have to be afraid. After your surgery, you will most likely be brought to the intensive care unit to rest and recover. The intensive care unit, or ICU for short, is a busy place with a lot of machines and lights and beeping. You might still be asleep when you arrive, but when you wake up, the nurses will remind you where you are and what is going on. There will be other kids, just like you, resting and recovering, and a team of doctors and nurses to look after you, so you will never be alone. Now there are a few very important things to remember. You will most likely not be able to talk or make any noises, but the nurses will do their best to keep you still and keep you from speaking so that your airway can heal after surgery. They will help you communicate without talking by using pen, paper, asking you to point to pictures, or even using sign language. You may even have the option to type on a device. You'll have a couple of small straws called IVs in your arms to help give you medicine so you don't feel any pain. The medicine will make you feel sleepy, which is important because your body needs to heal from the surgery. Moving too much may damage what the surgeons have fixed, so it's important to listen to your doctors and nurses about what you can and cannot do. Your hands may be secured down at your sides at first just to remind you not to pull anything out. This is temporary. If the doctors fixed your trachea, you may have some tubes in your nose as well as one in your neck but these are also temporary while you heal. Please do not try to pull these out. If you need pain medicine or are feeling anxious, the nurse will be right there to help you. You will most likely have another tube in your nose that goes down to your tummy to feed you. The nurses can put food through it for a few days while you're healing because you will not be able to eat the regular way. You may also have a tube to help you go to the bathroom. This is sometimes uncomfortable and the nurses will take it out as soon as it's safe for you to move around and go to the bathroom. You may even need to poop in a pan that is under your bottom while you're in bed. We know that's not very comfortable, but it's important to go when you need to go. <laughs> Lastly, you may have a small cut along the side of your chest, which will heal quickly, but is sometimes painful for a couple days. The doctors have done a really cool thing and turned one of your ribs into part of your airway. Amazing! The intensive care unit is a very busy place. Your parents will be with you as much as possible, but most important, you will never be alone. The nurses will help the time pass quickly with fun activities like watching videos, listening to music, playing games on an iPad, or even fun arts and crafts projects. As you heal, there will be some important things to remember. You will need to breathe deeply and cough. If you had a tracheostomy before surgery, you may still cough and breathe out of this, but you may be breathing out of a temporary tube in your nose. This may seem more difficult, but the nurses and doctors will help you learn how to do this. It is very important that when they ask you to take a deep breath and cough, you do your very best to help them. They will help with suction to clear your airway, but your job is as important as theirs. After a day or two, the nurses will start to help you move around more. First just sitting up in bed, then sitting in a chair, and then maybe even walking around the room. Someone will be with you because you may feel wobbly at first, but it is very important for your lungs and legs to get moving when the team says you're ready. The more you move, the better you will feel. So there you have it. Everything to look forward to and nothing to be afraid of. We'll all work together and we'll get you breathing like a superhero.